a lake full of skeletons, a tree that grows in another one, or an island from which you never come back. Make yourself comfortable. Today we'll take you on a journey to discover these eight mysterious places that even scientists have not been able to explain. You must have already seen rare, fascinating, breathtaking trees by their size and beauty. But have you ever had the opportunity to see a tree inside another? I bet you will say no because for you it is simply inconceivable. And yet, that's exactly what we're going to show you today. Take a good look at this tree, it is called Bialbero di Quesorzo. Initially, it is a non-parasitic plant called epiphyte. Generally, epiphytes are small in size and can take the consistency and shape of moss, lichen, or fern. But there are rare cases where they grow more than usual. Would you like to know more about this phenomenon? For that, we will have to go to Italy, to Piemont more exactly. You'll see, the trip is worth it. In the region of Piemont, precisely in Osti, this epiphyte known as Bialbero di Quesorzo is the curious marriage between a mulberry tree and a cherry tree. Contrary to what one might think, these two trees are not grafted. It is the cherry tree that has decided to take up residence in the heart of the mulberry tree. Generally, this type of union is not rare in nature. In such cases, the trees do not grow and even die due to lack of nutrients. In the case of Bialbero di Quesorzo, the two trees are splendid, flourishing, and majestic. Strangely enough, the two trees seem to be in perfect harmony, and there is no indication that one is impeding the growth of the other. Of course, you can imagine that we have no explanation for this phenomenon. However, the most romantic think that it would be the work of a bird, which would have dropped a cherry pit at the top of the mulberry tree. Yes, I know that going all the way to Italy takes a lot of effort, but it's worth it, isn't it? Now that you know that a tree can grow inside another tree, you can be a nerd in your next science class. Now let's go to an island. After all, if you think about it, you'd better stay home. But while you're sitting comfortably in your couch, let me tell you about this mysterious island, from which nobody has ever returned. That is if you are tempted to learn more about this terrifying place. Somewhere between Kenya and Ethiopia, there is a wonderful lake called Rudolph. On this lake, there is a mysterious cursed island, known as Envenet, meaning, no return. Do you already have the chills? Wait, you haven't seen anything yet. Legend has it that the inhabitants of the island often came to the mainland to trade, but one day without any explanation, they stopped coming. Intrigued. Two local men decided to go to the island to find out what had happened, only to discover a desolate and fire-ravaged place. In 1935, an English explorer by the name of Vivian Fush went to the area on a geological expedition and sent two men from his team to explore the island. Two members who never came back since. A team went to look for them but came back without explanation, there was no sign, nor any trace of the two men. You will tell me that it is easy to solve this mystery, it is enough to send large research teams, which are perfectly equipped to study the places, to retrace the history and to see if there were strange events during the 80 years which passed since the disappearance of the two scientists. But nobody wants to go there, unless you. Otherwise, if you still want to try, you should know that you have to take great risks. Envetnet Island does not bear its terrible name for anything, but now you know its existence and its history, it's as if you had already been there except that you are still alive and slumped on your sofa, isn't it better? We don't know if you like horror movies, but this place is blood-curdling. In fact, its name alone is chilling, very cold indeed. Get out of bed and put on your coats. Now that you're wondering what the connection is between a lake, cold and horror, come with me, a little frosty walk is in order. Grr, it's not very warm I know, but be patient, it's worth it. However, you will have to keep your cool. Located at some 5,000 meters of altitude in the mountains of the Indian Himalayas, this glacial lake of 2 meters of depth thaws only one month per year. If it attracts so many tourists, it is certainly not because of its green-blue water but for the mystery that surrounds it. Because by thawing, the lake reveals some rather strange things. Well, we'll be straight out. This enigmatic body of water is full of human remains. Hence its nice name, the Lake of Skeletons, or Rupkind if you prefer. This strange lake feeds the craziest theories among scientists, for decades. The most recent theory, based on samples, could evaluate the age of the bones at 1,200 years. It suggested that the deceased were all part of the same South Asian lineage, and led to the hypothesis that they had all died during the same event. But a new study has turned everything upside down. It shows indeed, based on DNA samples taken, that the site is home to several tribes and that the bodies arrived at several times in history, 
spread over several hundred years. Another element is that, according to the analyses, nearly 14 individuals seem to have originated from the eastern Mediterranean. Their DNA indeed presents similarities with that of the inhabitants of Crete. The more time passes, the more the mystery thickens around this lake, especially since no trace of virus or disease was detected, which proves that each individual died because of a different reason. It was not a battle either, since no traces of weapons, wounds, or blood were found. Moreover, among the deceased were skeletons of children and old people, so the theory of war is to be avoided completely. So, did this little express trip scare you? It's normal, but the good thing is that now you are comfortable at home and you have the necessary elements to try to solve this mystery, which remains more complete than ever. With a little work and research, you may succeed in solving it and become famous for it. After having learned a lot about the famous Bialbero di Casorzo from earlier, you now think you know everything about trees, even the weirdest ones. But no, not at all. There are even more mysterious trees. Do you want to see them? Follow me. This time we're going to Slope Point, a place located in the extreme south of New Zealand's South Island, where spectacular trees are found. But be careful, hold on tight, there might be some, light, gusts. These trees were planted many years ago to feed the local livestock, but you will notice that they are peculiar because of their twisted and deformed appearance due to the violent winds. In fact, these trees have grown by being constantly swept by the harsh conditions of the southern ocean. Thus, they are naturally oriented towards the north in order to offer less resistance to the winds that prevail in this region of the world. Oops, disheveled? No problem. You'll go back home with shaggy hair but a full head. Close your eyes, imagine yourself in Peru, at the edge of a beautiful river. You suddenly feel like a little swim, so you prepare to put your foot in the water. Oh, stop, wait, don't go any further, this river is dangerous. Your brain is boiling and you want to know why? Well, simply because this mysterious river of 25 meters wide and 6 meters deep, located in the heart of the Amazon is boiling. It is known under the indigenous name of Shanae Timpishka which means, boiled with the heat of the sun, an appellation largely deserved since its water boils at 86 degrees Celsius. Nothing to do with the hot springs of Yosemite National Park in the United States or those of Iceland. There, geothermal energy plays a fundamental role in heating the water, while in this river, the nearest volcanic formations are more than 700 kilometers away, which creates a great mystery around this phenomenon. If you pass by it one day, you are advised not to get too close to it, since people have seen animals perish there. And while you are sitting quietly imagining this morbid scene, scientists have their brains working relentlessly to find a plausible explanation for this unusual phenomenon. So, are you still in the mood for a dip? You are now behind the wheel of your car driving somewhere in Canada. You are about to drive up a hill, but before you step on the gas, you realize that the car is going up by itself. Weird? No, you're just driving through Moncton's Magnetic Hill. The third most visited natural attraction in Canada, the Moncton Magnetic Hill is challenging, fascinating, and intriguing. Vehicles that venture up the hill even with their engines turned off. You feel as if you are being pulled by an extraordinary natural force. For a long time, it was believed that the phenomenon was linked to occult powers or to magnets hidden in nature. It was only recently that a Japanese scientist, named Kokichi Sugihara, discovered the secret of the slope. He established that the phenomenon was actually a giant optical illusion. Flipping, is not it? Many dare to get out of their car to see it climb the slope by itself. But if you try to do the same, your car will end up in the scrap heap, because once it reaches the top, or the bottom, it will end up hitting something. Here's a good one to teach your driving school friends. It is impossible for you to imagine that water and fire can coexist perfectly? Think again. Here is the proof that will make you rethink everything you learned in physics class. Do you want to know more? This time, you'll have to go to New York, to Chestnut Ridge Park located in Orchard Park. This park is home to a natural eternal flame behind waterfalls. Although it is not unique, since there are hundreds of eternal flames in the world, the flame of Chestnut Ridge Park remains a great mystery. It is said to have been lit for thousands of years by Native Americans. It was first thought to be gas leaking from the ground, but the rocks beneath the flame are not hot enough to produce a chemical reaction. It was then thought that the gas could have come from somewhere else, but so far no scientist has been able to prove this hypothesis. Don't try to extinguish it, at the risk of burning your wings because this flame will never go out. So you might as well stay at home. Trying to find the scientific explanation for this strange phenomenon, it would be wiser. Here is something to impress your friends. Imagine for a moment that you are transported from your room to the temple of Ain Dara. What? You don't know this place? Come on, we take you there without further delay. On the other hand, you will have to be careful where you will put your feet, 
it is not a very secure place. Indeed, this Neo-Hittite archaeological site dating from the 10th century BC is located in Syria, 67 kilometers from Aleppo. Now that you are there, admire its beauty, well what is left of it. The site was discovered in 1954 and has been the subject of archaeological excavation since 1962. Why is it being excavated? Well, because of the mystery that surrounds it. The temple covered an area of 50 hectares, had monumental remains such as basalt lions, majestic sphinxes, the walls were decorated with orthostats and then the most important are the huge footprints that marked the entrance of the temple and symbolized the presence of God in the enclosure. But unfortunately, you won't see more than that since 2018. The temple was hit by airstrikes by the Turkish army, which destroyed 60% of it. So what do you think of these eight incredible places? Which one surprised you the most? Did you know that there are such places in the world? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss any of our next content.